Hello, and welcome back. This video is about creating a Diablo 2 skill tree style UI in Unreal 5.4 Blueprints. For these trees, we'll be starting with a new first person project, but most of this functionality will be in widget blueprints, so it should fit nicely into just about any project you're working on. Also note that we won't be using any custom images, so while it's modeled after some nice looking trees, these will look bad. And a special thanks to all my supporters. Thank you for helping me help others. We'll start by creating a UI folder and a widget blueprint. We'll call this one WBP Skill Tree Button. So this will simply be a button with some text on it. We'll just call the button button and the text we'll call level text. We'll want this to be filling. Oh, no, I meant centered. And it looks huge like this now just because it's filling the screen. If we throw this up to a custom on screen of 200 by 200, we want this initial value to be a zero. And actually I want it in the bottom right. So there we go. We're gonna go and create some of the variables we'll need. So first we're going to want an ID for the button. I'm going to set the category here to scale. That'll just pop it into its own handy little section here. I'm just going to hit Control D, put in level, which is also an integer max level. Three rec IDs, and lastly, min rec. The pre rec IDs, we'll just switch this to an array and I'm going to create a WBP skill array variable here. This will be a single. I can't make that yet because I need to make the skill tree first and I forgot in here the level text also needs to be a variable. So that now it shows up in here. Ah, yes, I like to save on compile always. It's that little uh, asterisk to go away. Now we can create the second widget blueprint. This will be the WBP skill three. So I now can go back in here, just change this type down here to WBP skill tree. All of these variables, the WPP skill tree and the five skill variables need to be instance editable. Would have been convenient if I put that on the first one before duplicating it four times. And that should be that for now. Where are, oh, that was the same one for our skill tree. First going to set the desired on screen to the custom on screen to 800 by 1000. This one will be a canvas panel. Since I'm going to be calling get children later on the canvas panel, I'm going to set this as a variable. Under this canvas panel, I'm just going to throw in an image. We'll make this stretch. Now if you hold control and shift when you do that, it actually sets it. And I'll just make this to a dark gray. Next I'm going to want a progress bar. We'll call this rank bar. I'm just going to throw this over at 680 and 20. We'll make this 100 wide and 
860 uh, tall. And we just want this filling from top to bottom. We're then going to add a user created skill tree button. This will be 200 by 200. We'll throw this at 2020. And you can see the instance editable skill values that we set are right here. So I'll make two more for the top row. This guy's is going to move over 220, 240. This one will move over 360, like I said, 460, and 20. For this one, we want the ID to be 1, and this one 2. Their min rank is 0 because they're at the top of this tree. However, for these three, which you can't duplicate, but you can copy and paste. This next one we'll put at 20 and 240. And this will be an ID of 3. This one will be an ID of 4. And 5. Set this next one to 240 and 460. And the last one will set to 460 and 880. Six eighty. All right. This one has a prerequisite of the one above it, so that means our prereq IDs here will be just the zero entry. This one will do the same. So it has a prereq of one, the one above it. For the last one here, though, we'll add two. We'll do this one, which is two but also this one here, which is four. For this one, our min rank here is going to be six, and then 12, and then 18. In our graph here, we can create a few variables. First, we are going to want a buttons map, which is an integer mapped to the WBP skill tree button. We also want to track the points. This will just be an integer and it's a single type. I'm going to compile this so that I can just set this value to 50. And then lastly, we have our points spent. All right, so to show this on screen, we're just going to go into our first person character blueprint. Just gonna go down here, throw on begin play. And begin play, we're gonna get our player controller. Use that to set input mode UI only. You wouldn't normally do this in a first person shooter, but this is just for showing the UI. We don't care about the FPS portion at the moment. When we set it to UI only or game and UI, then we want to follow that up with set show mouse cursor. We want that true. And then we're going to create our widget with the skill tree and add it to the viewport. So when we run, it immediately shows it. We don't care about the FPS part going to the background and all these buttons are enabled. And we'll follow up in the next video to add the functionality to make it all work together. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and would like to see more, you know what to do. And if you would like to support this channel, Watch these videos two weeks early 
or just want to download the project files, you can do so through my Patreon linked below.